All right, guys, I'm going to be doing another um, Total Conflict Resistance video. I'm going to be showing all the controls and stuff inside of battles. Some of these are really useful that I didn't know the first time, a couple times I was playing. And I'm going to try to show the community. So first... Oh, cool, this one can do it too. You're on burst. So I'm going to go over, I'm not really going to go over like the super basic ones like, you know, tab selects all the units, um, 1 through 0 is 1 through 10 selecting the squads if you have them, you know, you click click one of the squads or click tab, it'll pull up uh, your menu on the left here which pretty much tells you what all those buttons do, but more of like the hidden buttons where it doesn't really tell you what to do with them, so like uh, what you just saw me do right here, if you click V, you can switch between semi-auto and full auto or burst fire it just says auto but three round burst like um i think that the m4 does three round bursts or m16 is one of the two um if you click q and e you lean control is uh to hold crouch instead of clicking c and toggling it you know z is prone Um, B is binoculars. See that enemy's approaching you. T is switch weapons. If I had an RPG, I could switch to that. G is grenade. Which, that one seems kind of obvious because G, grenade, you know, pretty simple. But my favorite of all this stuff, and... This one's crazy. I did not know this first couple times I played it, and I've been playing in first person the whole time. You can 110% do a top-down RTS mode to where you can control all of your units super easily. I think this is just super crazy for even controlling the vehicles because I don't know how many times I've gotten like my trucks blown up by an RPG because you're trying to like move them one at a time. Like, sir, yes, sir. You're trying to move them one at a time because you can't see over a hill or whatever. So you're like, oh, move to the top of the hill and move down the hill. Then just get them blown up and get killed. But yes, also, like typical RTS style, Roger. if I click, yes, right click, if I hold shift, Roger. click, Roger. I can, Roger. Roger they'll just keep going to those different Roger. waypoints Roger. one after another until they finish the route. So you can make them a different route, all that stuff. You can uh, use this to tell them to get into Roger. buildings. Um, oh wow, that doesn't cancel the rest of it. Affirmative. Yes, sir. That's hilarious. Yes, there we go. Yes, sir. You can also use, you know, all the other keys, you know, exit vehicle, do all that stuff in this. What you can't seem to do is, like, if I yes, click sir. this one, whenever I find an enemy, I can't really direct them to attack a specific squad, it looks like. Roger that. Which would be nice. I mean, like, Mountain Blade Bannerlord, you can't do that either. Like, Mountain Blade Warband, you could, I think, take one squad and tell it to attack, like, their ranged units, so your cav would just attack it. But I can't seem to find a way to do that in this one. Well, maybe they'll add one. Maybe they won't. Like, right there. Right there's one of them. Like, if I click them right here, I can't make them focus fire those. They'll kind of just pick and choose their targets, it looks like, and shoot them themselves. But this will at least show me, like, their squads and stuff like that. So, like, sometimes you have trouble finding the units. This seems to make it a lot easier. Because once you see a squad, it'll mark them. And then you can, you know, just take back over your guy. Watch your dude get absolutely destroyed here. See, I'm trying to shoot far range against this guy, and it's absolutely not working. Which I think I was shooting a tree or something stupid. I'm an idiot. I can't even see nobody. I'm blind. There's some smoke. Oh, one other one, other one I'm going to show you right now is if I can uh, get to one. You can actually pick up weapons off the ground. Alright, so if you kill someone and there's a weapon on the ground, if you run up to the body and click F, 
it'll pick up their weapon and all their ammo that they had. So if you run out of ammo, or, you know, if I'm playing as a police guy and I just have a pistol, I can go and pick up someone's AK, or I can pick up a Car 98 or something like that more useful. Or if I have a shotgun and, you know, double barrel. Which are still pretty good, like, you know, they're useful. But I mean, an AK or UMP is just infinitely more useful, even at close range. Like, the shotgun can one-shot kill, but the AK is just... Fire, dude. Pick up his UMP. I see you. Except I can't aim. But the the top-down RTS mode is is probably my favorite way to play now. Like, I literally did not know you could do this. And it has mind blown me to like this game even more. And I can tell my dudes to get in there safely. It's like, it just makes it so much different because, like, over here, I couldn't even see over here if I was in first person. I could tell this dude to come over here and then tell him to run this way to flank and hit him from the rear. Just the, the more I play the game, the more I just learn more and more stuff. Let's go kill some people. And you know what? Doing something like this. Look, faster than reloading, faster than reloading. Except I picked up a gun with no ammo. Oh, yeah, that's a bug. Okay, look, it's it like in the bottom right corner, it said I had zero bullets. The gun was loaded. There's like a visual bug right now for when you pick up a gun off the ground that it'll show it as no ammo, but you can still shoot it. Is that my unit? Yes, it is. Um, I'm also going to be doing a video for combat tips and tricks. Uh, like some really cool stuff. Like, see, it had the ammo on it the whole time. Um, that are really fun to do, or some tactics I like to use when I'm doing my battles. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll be putting out more videos for this really soon. Uh, I'll be putting out that tips and trick ones probably tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to start co recording some videos for Jedi Survivor because I absolutely love Star Wars. It is absolutely my favorite thing. But I will be doing videos for this game also too. Probably every other day. And then try to do like some Star Wars ones. You know, I still might be able to get these videos out every day too. Except for, like I just had to go... Um work on a couple movie sets because I do uh, film. I'm a grip and gaffer and uh, camera assistant when I'm not doing my other job. Um, so like the last two days has been hard to put out any videos because I went from work to movie set and then didn't get home until like 3 a.m. So, Which then get back up, go to work then come back that day and put up some videos so uh but thanks for watching guys i appreciate it